cell respiration changes glucose and oxygen into water and carbon dioxide. ADP gets changed into ATP. Respiration proper occurs in organelles in the cells called mitochondria. However, before this, glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm. In glycolysis, the 6-carbon glucose molecule is first changed into a molecule of fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. This is then changed into two 3-carbon molecules of pyruvate. The mitochondrion has an outer and an inner membrane. There is an intermembrane space and inside the inner membrane is called the matrix. The pyruvate from glycolysis goes into the matrix. In the matrix the citric acid or Krebs cycle takes place. We won't go into all the details of the citric acid cycle here, but here are the main features. Its main function is to allow hydrogen ions to move to the intermembrane space. It does this partly by reducing NAD to NADH, but also by producing succinate. Along the way, some water is taken in and given out, and some oxygen is taken in. If the oxygen supply failed, the citric acid cycle would stop. The succinate moves to an inner membrane protein and changes to fumarate. Importantly, electrons are released down an electron transport chain. This allows hydrogen ions to move from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Eventually, the electrons meet a protein where, with oxygen, water is formed. Hydrogen ions are also carried through from the matrix to the intermembrane space. If there is no oxygen supply, respiration would stop at this stage. Reduced NAD also goes to inner membrane proteins. Hydrogen ions pass from the matrix to the intermembrane space, and again electrons are released down an electron transport chain. Along the way, they allow membrane proteins to transport hydrogen ions from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Eventually, when the electrons meet up with a final membrane protein, they join up with oxygen to produce water and help some more hydrogen ions to get through from the matrix to the intermembrane space. So what's happening overall is that more and more hydrogen ions are being pushed into the intermembrane space. The increasing concentration gradient causes the hydrogen ions to diffuse back through what are called stalked particles. These carry ATP synthase that's activated by the hydrogen ions. As a result, finally, ADP gets changed into ATP.